Welcome to Mission Driven. What we're talking about today is how to make God a part of your goals, right? My client, Andrew, he's one of my fitness and health clients, asked me, hey, make a training on how to get God in, in, into your goals, right? Uh, and I keep him as simple as this, make God a part of it, right? Because this is like that with everything, right? If you want God to be a part, like God's a part of this video right now, right? I pray in Jesus' name that your presence is felt in this video, that you guide me and direct me as I'm making this video. I pray that the Holy Spirit speaks through me as I'm making this video, that you guide me and direct me, and that you bless every single person watching this, that you bless their soul, that you fill them with love, happiness, abundance, and prosperity. I pray that you heal them from their head to their toes. I pray that you heal them from trauma. I pray in Jesus' name that you make this a wonderful, the best video that anybody has ever watched in your name, right? Like, make him a part of your goals, of your dreams, of your visions, right? You're gonna see that with everything that we're doing with Mission Driven. Is that what we're saying, talking about? We're talking about praying. We're talking about meditation. We're talking about journaling. Why? Because it's about getting that alignment towards what God put you on this earth for. Becoming the person that God made you to be, right? And that looks different for everyone, right? It's not just about quoting Bible verses and, you know, doing all that. That's for some people, right? Some people are going to be preachers and, and do, you know, Bible, you know, they're reading the Bible as they're doing bicep curls, right? They're going to be, they're going to be doing uh, Bible fitness, right? With other people, it's just going to look differently. Like I've had a lot of advisors, right? It's about godly character more than anything else. You look at two huge Christian companies like In-N-Out and Chick-fil-A. They're very subtle in the way that they do it. You look at somebody like John Maxwell. He isn't on stage writing Christian books and, and on stage saying, you know, Jesus, Jesus, Bible verse, Bible verse, Bible verse. No, he, he's a man of leadership, but his character is Christ-like. The way he does things is Christ-like, and he professes his faith in Christ, right? He's a, he's a Christian, and he, he does that in his books and this and that, but the books are on leadership. His speeches are on leadership, on teamwork, on all these different things, right? And so how do you make God a part of your relationship, a part of how you communicate to your friends, a part of making your videos, a part of making your content, a part of your coaching, a part of whatever financial goal, business goal, uh, fitness goal, whatever goals that you have, is you invite God into it. God is not interested just in your time in worship, reading the Bible, and going to church. God made you in his image. He knitted you in the womb. He made you in his image. He's a part of, he wants to be a part of all of your life. So I'm, I'm praying to God as I'm eating. I'm praying to God as I'm making a video. I'm praying to God as I'm making content. I'm praying to God as I'm about to talk to that person. When I talk to that person, I say, oh, thank you, God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, man, life is so good. Expressing love and gratitude, grace and mercy, compassion, right? All throughout everything that I do, I invite God in every single part, right? And uh, so that's that's how you do it, bro, right? I would just invite, I would just invite God, pray to God. Hey, man, hey, God, let me crush this workout for you. <laughs> Let me let me get the six pack for you, Jesus, just to show you that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let me just show you. Let me let me just do this speech, make this video, make this content, talk to this friend, this this family member, this, uh, do the sales call, whatever it is, and show them the kingdom of God is within me. Right, the kingdom of God is within me. Let me show the world that I'm made in your image, that the infinite creator that created the universe, the law of the universe, that created every single material thing, that created every single soul, that created every single human being, that created the earth. Let me show them that I'm, I'm God's greatest creation. There is no other creation that God has made other than humans that's as, as great as humans. God made us, right? And let me show the world how great our creation is. Not from pride and ego like oh this is me but no because i i am god's son and the kingdom of god is within me and i'm made in god's image so let me show you how great i am because how great he is and how great he created me because of how great he is right like with that with everything you do right just everything it's that simple it's like not getting the the the, the, tr the fine line is where it's like oh it's me that does all of this and it's me like making yourself a god no it's there's a big difference uh, i would say it's, you could say you're a God, or you could say I'm the son of God, that I'm made in God's image, that the kingdom of God, of God is within me, that the same soul, the same spirit that resurrected Jesus from the cross, from the, from the grave, that brought him back to life, lives within me. The same spirit that, 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 that heals leprosy, and heals the blind, and does, heals the sick, and, and he does all this, lives within me, man. Whew, I'm made in God's image, bro. So why, why can't I make a million dollars? Why can't I become a billionaire? Why can't I impact a million lives? Why can't I uh, do whatever? It doesn't matter. Whatever goals, whatever God is telling you to do, right? Whatever, whatever direction, right? And he's already been doing that by your personality, your desires, your goals, right? The, the visions, the dreams that you have, 
right? Like, he's already been guiding you and directing you. So if you're already a believer, believer in God, you're already reading the, the Word, you're already building your character like Christ, you don't necessarily need to worry if your dreams, your goals, your desires are that of His, because the closer you are to God, the more that your desires are going to be aligned. The closer you are to God, the more that your goals are going to be aligned and everything you're doing. So you don't got to worry about that. See, God doesn't give you the spirit of fear, doubt, worry, scarcity. He doesn't give you those spirits. He, give it, he gives you the energy of a love, of courage, of compassion, of, of man, my life is good, right? So, man, your goals and desires, you're going to be going that way. You're going to be going the way that God wants you to go. If you're close to God, man, so just invite God. And it's, it's just you, instead of trying to do it on your own, you're doing it with God. And I think I'll be much more successful if I'm doing it with the God, with God's spirit in me. I think I'll be much more successful if I do it with God versus without God. So all of you guys, non-believers, I'm telling man, you're missing out on money, success, happiness, fulfillment. You're missing out on everything. You know, we can get religious and talk about your salvation, like you're going to hell or this, that, but let's leave that aside. If you're a non-believer, man, you're missing out on money, success, fulfillment, happiness, because you, if you have the spirit of God, if you, if you have God on your team, man, you're going to be able to accomplish much more than if you don't have God. So I'd rather be on God's team than on whatever other team, right? So I invite God's presence with everything that I do. And I pray in Jesus name that he blesses you right now and that you invite God in your relationship and your fitness goals and your business goals and everything you do. I pray blesses you, gives you courage, abundance, prosperity, health, wealth, love, happiness. I pray he blesses you, he fills you with your spirit in Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, friend. Let's go. All right, guys, so that's the video. This is Mission Driven. If you'd like to learn more about how I can help you find your mission, your purpose, your calling in life, help you develop a concrete plan to bring it into fruition, help you get the proper tools, knowledge, resource, people, opportunities to actually make that mission come into reality, and then you'd like to meet me for me to coach you with time management, high performance, success mindset, extreme execution, massive execution, right? Help you actually bring that mission, that vision, that purpose into reality. If you'd like to learn more about success coaching, how I can help you level up and succeed in every single area of life. You can DM me on Facebook, Instagram, if you have my number, you can click the link below the apply for the coaching program. I have a few spots left. Also, you're going to have a mission driven course come out here in the next week or so to help you find your mission, your purpose, your calling for life. Um, I'm going to have a course come down here in the next week as well. So other than that, guys, message me if you're interested in any of that, learning more about it, um, seeing if it's a good fit for you. Other than that, God bless you. Peace be with you. And I'll see you next time. Let's go. Next time, let's go.